Hey guys, I'm Vanessa. And I'm Daniel, and we're Geo Community Managers. And here with us is Jade and Ryan, who are also product specialists on our Geo products. And we're here today to talk about Photo Tours, a new feature that launched last week. And for the next few minutes, we're just about to demo what this feature is, and Daniel's going to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, while we're doing this, we would love to hear questions and comments from you guys right below this video that's streaming right now in the comments below that post. We're going to be, uh, Ryan and I are going to be actively kind of watching that and seeing if you guys have any questions, and we're going to try to get to those in a few minutes. But let's just get started. What what, Daniel, are, are this magical feature called Photo Tours? All right, so the big question of the day. Um, photo <laughs> Tours is a 3D immersive guide that really guides you through thousands of landmarks across the world um, in this very fluid, strung together, uh, basically slideshow of, of different landmarks. Um, and it's user-generated content. Right, so all the images that are on photo tours are user-generated and uploaded to uh, Picasso web albums and also to Panoramio. And those are all basically images from you guys that you've made public for others to see. And so we're trying to share your content in the best way possible. Because there's a lot of good content out there from you guys. So it's yeah. definitely, like, a, I guess it's a new way. I guess the idea behind it is it's a new way to sort of experience that content. Yeah. Essentially, what the goal is for you guys to lean back and really enjoy these places across the world, even if you can't get out of your chairs. Um, so this is lean a problem for us sometimes. So <laughs> it's a really awesome feature that we are going to dive into in a little bit. Okay. So maybe... Um, I mean, I guess the next obvious question is now that you've said what photo tours is, is sort of how do you access those photo tours? So how, as a user, can you get on maps and see what these cool images are? So maybe you want to screen share now and sure. just kind of show us some of the entry points? Sure. So we're going to get that started right now. Bear with By us. the way, the tour oh, feature yeah. is really new. So we just launched uh, last Wednesday. So you're seeing a, a really cool new feature. That is an excellent point. Yes, we launched last week, and we're just getting started with the, with this feature. So. Right. So screen share will start now. Fingers crossed. It works. I think, okay, it looks good. I think we're on. All right. So the first thing you want to know is that Photo Tours is only available in Maps GL. So that's the first thing that we're going to do here in our demo. Um, when you go to maps.google.com, you'll see this small pop-up box down here. And you want to note that MapsGL doesn't work on all, all computers, so you want to you wanna check your system requirements to see if it works. If not, and you're risky, just click Try It Now. And that's what we're going to do. So as it's getting started here, um, I'll talk a little bit about MapsGL. It, it really lets you um, view 3D images on Google Maps. It lets you see 45-degree rotations. Um, there's more fluid flows into Street View. and It's basically the next coolest, awesomest version of Maps. Right. So if not for photo tours, then get Maps GL anyway. <laughs> um, so once you've enabled Maps GL, you'll see this pop up. And it, it takes you through a tour of the different features of Maps GL. And um, photo tours is actually on that guided tour. So if you want to click, um, I highly recommend clicking take a guided tour right here. So guided tour is basically a sort of help like. Yeah, so it, it'll show you it'll show you prompts on the screen, where to click, what to search for, to really show off the cool features of Maps GL. Got it. Um, but since we're just interested in photo tours right now, we'll skip that and go right into photo tours. So to get to photo tours, um, you want to go to maps.google.com slash photo tours. That's easy enough to remember. Yeah. It's a great site. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you see here on the left-hand panel, you see a bunch of the photo tours that we love. So the Tre Trevi Fountain, St. Mark's Basilica, um, they're all there. Oh. Um, and so right now, we'll jump right into our fo first photo tour of um, the Trevi Fountain. Or can you scroll or maybe? So I'm just, sorry, I'm just, I'm just stepping on your... Here, Daniel. <laughs> she always um, does this. <laughs> <laughs> so the, it says, check out a few of our favorite tours below or check out a map um, of all the tours. Maybe you scroll up. It might be hard to see for folks at home. So over here on the left, scroll. So th these ones that are in the panel over here, are these just some curated ones that you guys popped in here? Yeah, so okay. these are curated ones of the ones that we think are really great. 
And then if also you want to see a list of all our tours, you just click this little link right here, which I'll do right now. And that shows us basically the locations of all of the photo tours across the world. So basically if you So all those little red dots and things. Yeah, all those little red dots are places we have photo tours. Awesome. Um so let's get started. For example, Ryan over there really likes baseball. Uh -oh. Where did it go? And then we gotta get back And to it's baseball, baseball season right now. Ryan, who are you rooting for? Oh geez. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna start up a comment discussion based on your, your <laughs> I like the San Diego Padres, classic underdog team. <laughs> Do we want to, let's see, maybe over in Chicago? I love this explore feature. I feel like I could get sucked into this for many hours during the day. All right, so here's one that Ryan really likes, Wrigley oh, Field. So we're going to go right ahead and dive into that. So you're just clicking on that take a photo tour thumbnail. Right, just that, that thumbnail on the left-hand side. So as you can see, it's a really fluid, basically, slideshow stringing together pictures that you guys have submitted and made public. One thing to note is, it, since we're screen sharing, um, the image that you guys are seeing might be a little slower than what, what's really there, so we encourage you guys to check it out for yourselves um, and to really experience how fluid it actually is. In fact, you guys could open just, if you open a new tab in your browser right now and go to that maps.google.com slash photo tours, you can kind of start playing along as we're speaking, but not in the same window because then that'll, you'll leave the hangout and then you won't hear us anymore. But right. um, yeah, you can definitely go to that link and, and kind of experience it if you have Maps GL enabled. So yeah, one, one thing, thing, go ahead, Jade. So uh, one thing that is that um, by end of the each tour, you can see there is a little QUI. It, you can vote for a thumbs up and thumbs down, and you can even share the link with your friends and your family. And also, if you uh, click on the fast forward, it, it will bring you to uh, the next tour uh, nearby this place. Also, you can just like uh, um, press your arrow key on your keyboard, and uh, if you want to fast forward in the same tour, so you will go to the next picture in the same tour. That's cool. So some quick, so they're like some quick, short kinds right. of things. Right. So also one thing to note is this report a problem button right here in the bottom right corner. If you click that button, it takes you into either Panorabio or Picasso web albums, where if you see an image that you don't agree with or you feel like it would um, uh, violate our, our Google policies, you can click on that and it'll take you to a page that um, you can report that image, and if we feel, if we agree that it violates our policies, we'll take that image down. Right, so you'll take the full image out of that tour, and then the tour will update. Right. Got it. Minus right. that image. Cool. So, that's so let's, let's take you guys into another tour. Um, so, so do, or do you want to show another entry? So basically... Right, okay. Do you want to screen share? Unscreen sharing, here we are. So you just entered that through that very quick link, backslash photo tours. Right. And are there, is there another way to get to photo tours? There are that? multiple ways. So for example, if you... Screen share um, Yeah, I'll okay. show you guys right now on a screen share. So let's go back to the screen share. Okay. Let's go back to maps. So maps.google.com. And let's say now that we want to see um, the Trevi Fountain. So what you would do is put in Trevi Fountain into your search. Click Enter or click on the search bar. And come on, Trevi Fountain. <laughs> let's go back to Maps. Or do we have Maps Geo enabled on this? Uh, we do. So bear with us here as... <laughs> as we're not seeing the entry point. What you would usually see is right here where this Street View image is, um, you would see a photo tours link, and this is where you would click it. But since it's a new product, some of them are still showing you guys Street View tours, which is also, or just regular Street View, and then um, also here's another entry point. So if you click the Trevi Fountain icon right on the map, you'll see a photo tours link. This is another way to access photo tours. So if we click right here, it'll take us right into photo tours of the Trevi Fountain. 
which, by the way, I visited, and this comes to a close second of actually being there. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't throw the coin in. So. You just can't throw the coin in. Um, awesome. As you can see, it's the same as when we toured the Wrigley Field. These are all user-generated images. Um, and one thing to note is we do have a lot of fancy that technology that turns your images into... Oh, that, I was uh, going to ask you how we... That's a good, great question. So how yeah. do we make these tours? So essentially, when users upload photos to Panoramio and to Picasso Web Albums, they can say, this is a picture of the Trevi Fountain, or geotag it to another location. If there's enough uh, images on one location, we'll compile those images based on the quality and popularity of the images. We'll, we'll string them together and then display them for a photo tour um, on Google Maps. And about how long from the time that I upload, like, does it take for that to kind of, for the tours to kind of piece together? Um, that takes a few weeks. So if okay. you upload a, a, a picture and it gets selected for a photo tour, um, and that's, again, based on quality and popularity, it'll take a couple weeks for that image to be integrated into a photo tour. Got it. Um, do we want to show, I don't know, um, do we want to show... Also, actually, um, one thing to add very quickly, um, your photo, even if it's public in Panoramio and, or Picasso, is not guaranteed to be selected into the photo tour. Right, that's a good point. Not all photos are selected to be in photo tours. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Thanks, Jade. And users can't make their own photo tours. Right, photo tours is something that um, for now, we collect and make into photo tours for people to see. But really, uh, you can't make your own photo tours. And upload, got it. Cool. Right. Um, yeah, do we want to show... Into going into how to upload a photo? To in Panoramio? Yeah. Yeah, let's show that. Because I don't know if how many of you guys out there have used Panoramio before, but it is um, a super cool way to geotag your photos and get them on the map. Um, if you go to, maybe you want to talk about the layers. Sure, sure. So if you, if you do upload your photos to Panorama, let me start a screen share again. And you're in Maps. The Panorama photos that are public and accepted, again, that's another process that is based on quality and things like that. Um, you can see here, you can turn on the Photos layer. And all of the Panorama photos that are accepted will display on this layer. Um, Super cool, and you can search. Yeah. You can right, search yeah. here for different locations. Um, but again, this is this isn't yet photo tours. So what really gets you into photo tours is here when you're in Panoramio. So essentially, I went to Panoramio.com. I logged into my account, and my name is Mr. Daniel on this account. <laughs> Um, and here awesome. on your photos, you see basically your photos. Um, this is a photo I uploaded from Berlin. It's a picture I took uh, the last time I was there. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys how to upload a photo now. So essentially I click upload your photos up here on the top bar. And then I click here on this blue button, upload your photos. I go to where my photos are, Daniel's photos. And there's a really neat picture I have of the Eiffel Tower that I actually took in the night the last time I was there. Oh, that's and I pretty. really want to get this up. Look on at you and your fancy <laughs> Paris trips. I mean... I know. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've uploaded the photo, and now I want to map it. Basically, this is what we call geotagging. I, I can type in Eiffel Tower. Oh, and, and, and it populates with... It populates it here. Awesome. Since it's a, already a popular location. So I'll mm -hmm. click on that. And I will click here on the info window to snap to this place, which essentially means this picture is at, at this location. Got it. So just it's just more of an accuracy. Right. Yeah, that's a cool exactly. Thing. And then I'll click Done down here in the bottom left corner. Once that's done, I can label my picture... And then click here. I'm done. done. It takes a little bit to load. And once it's loaded, you can see here that I have uploaded my picture. And everything you upload on Panoramio is actually public. And once those images, um, they may be selected for photo tours, they'll go live in, again, a few weeks. 
Um, so that's really all you have to do. And if you're lucky, we'll choose your photo and put it up on a photo tour of the Eiffel Tower. So I hope mine gets in there. <laughs> and if not, oh. you would know who to call. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And one thing to know is, unscreen. let's unscreen share this. So one, thing, <laughs> one thing to note is when your photo is chosen, we do attribute that photo to you. So in the photo tour, you can see in the bottom left corner, it will say Mr. Daniel or photo oh. for Mr. Daniel. Right. So, um, so everyone will know that I uploaded it. <laughs> choose your screen names wise, wisely <laughs> as, you're, as you're uploading. <laughs> and uh, also one thing to note is that the photo tour, once your photo is selected, it might be um, assembled with other um, users' photo in one tour. It's not like a, the photo tour just for your picture or your album. Right. Right, that's a great point. So your your picture will be a part of many other users' pictures, not just your pictures. So the, right, that collection of right. It's user teamwork. Exactly, which is exactly, exactly what we want to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we should take a few questions from the page. We we had a question. Um, I'm looking off screen because I'm looking at my other computer at the comments. Um, Ryan, you probably saw this one too. Um, by. Jory Vanderwerf, I sorry man if I totally pronounced that wrong. Um, you a, you wanted to ask if we if you can if the user can make their own photo tour, but then he was disappointed because we had already answered his question. Do you want to answer uh, it again just for him? I just just sure. say it. Sure. So the short answer is no. You guys cannot, but your photos will or can be chosen to become up to become photo tours in Google Maps. Awesome. Okay. But it might be something for us to think about in the future, depending on. Um, exactly. We're always looking, we're always listening to your guys' feedback, so please keep that coming on our page and in our forums. Um, we do read, we do read your feedback and we really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's our job is it's to read job. that all day. <laughs> so, um, and uh, I guess if they're having any issues with it, they can also report that in the Google Maps forum if you want to talk a little right. bit. Right. So if you're having issues with how to use the product or um, if you feel like something is broken, you can go to the Google Maps forum, um, which will link to you guys um, in the comments later on, and we'll also uh, link it when we reshare the video after on YouTube. Yes, we're going to upload this video as well, too. Do we want to show another tour? Ryan, do you yeah. want to pick a tour? Oh, pick sure. a country. Pick What's a spot that, that you want to see. What do we have? Uh, so we did North America. We did Europe. What do we have maybe in Asia Pacific region? Let's find out. So I'm going to start share. the screen share again. Do you start the screen share? Not yet. Ah, we're typing. You're just watching us. <laughs> All right. So screen share. Have you ever been over there, uh, Ryan? I haven't, but it's definitely a goal of mine. See, now you, then you can experience it before you go there, and then you can go see the real thing. Exactly. This is definitely a cool um, sort of pre-travel tool, kind of, I, I would think so. In terms, I've never been to the Eiffel Tower myself, but being able to see it like that, I mean, obviously I want to go there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> right, a bunch of so there are a bunch of places First in, screen? we are. First screen sharing? All right. Sweet. Um, so let's do Universal Studios in Japan. Oh, that's Fun. Excuse me. So let's take that tour. Oh, nice. It's very nice. As you guys can see, it just fluidly goes from image to image in a very 3D way. All right, let's 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 click the next tour and see what that is. Very interesting. Looks a lot like that Ferris wheel in London. <laughs> Look, oh, that's true. Do we know which one this is? Um, you can see here it's the Tempezen Harbor Village Ferris wheel. So it also is very informational. If you just want to go from photo tour to photo tour, you can learn a lot. You can travel through a whole country. <laughs> this is the Osaka Aquarium. Oh, that's fun. I think it's cool, too, that it's not necessarily the same picture from the same time. So you see it at night, you see it during the daytime, you see it different seasons and so forth. Right. It's pretty cool. Right. So it's really a variety of different pictures from users. So it's really great. And also, um, for each tour, 
we have at least a five or plus photo in each tour. Right, that's a good point. Um, so each tour has five or more photos, like you. Yeah. So if um, a place is less than five photos submitted, we might not considering till the numbers of photo are are enough for for us to assemble in a tour. Got it. Right. Great point. So get your friends that you were on that trip with to all upload all of their photos. <laughs> exactly. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> right. Well, cool. Well, I think I think that's all the questions. And I mean, like we said, maps.google.com slash photo tours, and you guys can play around and experience it yourself. If there are any questions, just Google Google Maps Forum. Right. And Daniel will personally answer. So. I will be answering your questions. <laughs> you can also leave more questions in the comment stream of our Google Plus on air Hangout. So you can check that out, and we'll try to be answering questions there, too. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, Ryan and Jade. Really appreciate you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.